to give you a quick wine tasting lesson so that you know what to expect when you visit the wineries. Now they'll usually give you some wines that you can choose from and you always want to start with the white. They'll pour you a little bit, usually just about that much, and the first thing you want to do is look at the color. What's in there? Is it a little amber? Is it dark? Is it very light? Just observe the color. You can write it down if you want or just keep it in your mind. And then we're going to move on to the smell. There's the first smell and the second smell. The first smell is the initial smell right when it's been poured into your glass. This actually has some honey in the very first smell. And then you're going to swish it around like this. And what this is doing is putting in some oxygen so that the wine really opens up. And on the second smell, I'm actually smelling almonds there. It really does change it a little bit. And now we're going to move on to the taste. There's the first taste, the second taste, and the third taste. Now the first taste is that initial shock on your palate. What, what's that initial taste like? The second taste is you're going to swish it around a little bit, and it's what what all those different areas, the bitterness, the sweetness, what are you tasting? And then the third taste is the aftertaste, which is actually a very important one because it's what's left in your mouth when you're done with your wine. So let's do it. And if you do it right, you'll notice that there are actually three very, very different tastes. Okay, so we're going to move on to the red wine now, but first you want to pour out your wine, rinse out the glass. You don't want any of that leftover wine in there. There you go. And now we're going to do the red wine. And again, we're going to do the same thing. The color, the smell, and the taste. So we want to hold this up to the light. Now this really has a lovely plum kind of, kind of look to it. A really nice red look. All right, now let's smell it. Mmm, very nice. Plum. I smell plum. We're going to oxygenate it a little bit, which is very, very important with red wine. Mmm, it really opens it up. Mm. Now, as you may have noticed on the taste for the red wine, I kind of sucked in a little bit of air there. What that does again is just put some more oxygen in there, which like I said before is very important with red wine. It really interacts a lot with it and it really opens up the taste. This concludes your brief wine tasting guide. I hope you enjoyed it and remember the three steps, the color, the smell, and the taste. Enjoy your visit to wineries and I'll see you next time.